Hello Vinyl community, this is Graham <coughs> coming to you from Wembley in North London. Uh, I've, <coughs> I've got four records to show you today, a um, little bit of a theme running through them. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to, to mention was that um, today is the fourth year since the passing of Keith Emerson, uh, one of my favourite musicians and my favourite band, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Um, so it's the fourth anniversary. Uh, I'll certainly be playing some ELP tonight in memory of him. Um, saw the band many times and, and met Keith Emerson. So first of all, uh, with a little bit of a connection of Carl Palmer, the drummer, um, is this album, which is The Crazy World of Arthur Brown, uh, on the track label, um, which was Kit Lambert, who was associated with The Who. Uh, this is real kind of far out psyche psychedelia. Um, a lot of session musicians were used on this album, so there's some debate as to who plays drums on what. But Vincent Crane plays keyboards very well on this. There's some great funky uh, psychedelic Hammond organ, and he does some great orchestration as well. Uh, Vincent Crane, of course, went on to Atomic Rooster with Carl Palmer. And the reason the two of them were together was that they toured the States with Arthur Brown uh, promoting this album in 1968. Uh, but due to Arthur Brown's very erratic behaviour, um, the two of them actually just abandoned the tour. Um, I think there was a bit of a recess in the, in the scheduling and Palmer and Vincent Crane sort of found themselves on a plane back to the UK together. And I think on that journey decided to form a band, Atomic Rooster. Um, so... Uh, this is a great album. It, it's very much of its time. It has the number one hit single, of course, Fire, um, which was a number one in, I think, quite a few countries. Um, I picked this up very cheap a long time ago. It does seem to be an original uh, pressing on the track label. Um, so, yep, it's, it's always good to dig this out and have a bit of 60s psychedelic rock. Next up is a band called Missing Persons, which is really, um, this was a particular interest to me because of the drummer Terry Bozio, who played in the band UK with Eddie Jobson and John Wesson, uh, and then had a real change of direction uh, in the early 80s with this very much kind of new wave, kind of sort of synth punk band. Um, his wife at the time, Del Bozio, this is Dave Del Bozio on the cover, was the lead singer in the band. Um, sort of reminds me of uh, kind of quite sort of punky, screechy delivery, um, very much of its time. And in fact, Terry Bozio uh, was experimenting with his own custom made electronic drum kit um, in Missing Persons. Kind of quite an unusual band. Um, New wave, as I said, quite sort of punky at times, driving drums, uh, good bass and sort of synth. Um, Warren Kukakurilo uh, was in this band. There was some some kind of association with Frank Zappa as well. Terry Bozio had played, of course, drums with Frank Zappa. Uh, this is just a good, um, hard-hitting album. Um, they this was their second album i think and it's on capital uh lyric sheet inside and some actually quite nice terry bozio artwork here um terry bozio is a favorite drummer of mine and he uh does quite a lot of kind of uh, fairly avant-garde art and um, so this is on capital capital records uh, got us a long time ago, um, but just nice to have it. Good album. Okay, I'll be playing some of this tonight. Uh, this is actually uh, Keith Emerson's first film score. Uh, it was an Italian movie called Inferno, 
by quite a well-known director called Dario Argento. Um, it was a kind of very schlock, um, sort of hammer horror uh, film. Not not the greatest of films, but it's a superb soundtrack. Uh, very, very eerie. Um, at the time, Emerson had switched mainly to chord keyboards, but there's some Moog on here as well. There's a beautiful main theme uh, played on the Steinway Grand. Um, it's kind of an interesting album. Uh, a lot of people really like this. Great cover. Um, there's Keith Emerson looking sort of mean and moody in the shadows. Um, and there he is with Dario Argento. Argento. Um, there was a, actually a single released off this called Taxi Ride Rome, which is a very kind of bouncy track on, on I think, on the Korg and the Moog. Um, kind of associated with a, a bit of a mad taxi taxi ride. Um, terrific stuff and slightly unusual in a picture, kind of full of Keith there. This was on the Areola label. Uh, I'm going to correct myself. It was on Areola, I think, in Europe, but in the UK was released on Atlantic, which of course was Emerson, Lake and Palmer's label. So we're spinning that tonight and thinking of, of dear Keith Emerson. And last up is an unusual 12 inch single. Uh, this is by Roger Daltrey and it's called Under a Raging Moon. It's a kind of basically a, a kind of a study of Keith Moon. <laughs> Uh, so very driving, flamboyant track, drum orientated. And the reason I got this is because it's one of the very, very few um, sort of sessions that Carl Palmer from Emerson, Lake and Palmer is on. And it's, it's unusual because, in fact, there are, I think, eight, uh, eight bar or 16 bar drum breaks kind of spliced together. And the drummers, I'll just read them out to you in, in order. Uh, it's a very kind of manic ending to the track. And the, the drummers kind of are all, um, they're kind of layered together seamlessly. So, and then there's an outro. So the order of drummers uh, is Martin Chambers, who played uh, with the Pretenders, Roger Taylor from Queen, um, Cozy Powell from Rainbow, um, all sorts of bands, but also Emerson, Lake and Powell. Stuart Copeland from The Police at the time. Zach Starkey, who was Ringo Starr's son and in fact went on to play with The Who. Carl Palmer, uh, Mark Brzezicki, who played with Big Country. And the outro is actually played by Mark Brzezicki and Zach Starkey. Uh, it's a terrific track, actually. Uh, and on the B side of this, we've got um, Move Better in the Night, which I think is a Roger Daltrey track. But we've got Behind Blue, Blue Eyes and 515, which are two Who classic tracks. This is a, just a great thing to have. I got this when it came out at the time. Picture of Roger Daltrey there. Um, and it's called Under a Raging Moon. And it's this sort of dedication, really, to Keith Moon. Um, so it's great to have that. The, the connection again is, is Carl Palmer from Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I uh, hope everyone's having a good week and um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.